Yoga, face and over. You will be no one less than a mugosi. Oh, wami, oh, wami. Oh, wami, oh, wami. Oh, wami, oh, wami. Oh, wami, oh, wami. Hi ninjas, how are you doing? It's your girl or I'm Ninja Pajaru, aka Miss Fia Focal Print Bag for all entertainment. If the first time you know me, I'm doing the welcome. Please do make sure that I subscribe and obviously hit the bell. I absolutely love you. And do not forget, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. It's at boldly or wami. Now, my ninjas, today we're actually going to sit and talk about AKA. We do have some news. I don't know if it's good or it's bad or it's just normal because this is not even trending on Twitter. But before we get to that, I do have to remind you guys that on the 30th of March, we do have our masterclass. Now, the prior Price is only 390 rands. This is the cheapest that you'll ever get a ticket from me. Um, we do have 50 seats of people that can be able to come physically. And I think now we have about 35 seats left. So if you still want to join us, there's still a spot, but you do have to pay earlier. So first come, first serve. Um, if you pay later, then obviously you join us online because it will be both um, online and um, live. Um, so yeah, basically that is that, my ninjas. Today, let's go ahead and talk about AKA, who they are alleging that his um, murderers have been found. So I'm going to go ahead and read this from uh, my Pepandaba who uh, went on to actually say <clears throat> sorry um, they said that um, AKA's killers found the Times of Eswatini paper is uh, reporting that police in Eswatini or Swaziland have arrested two hitmen believed to be um, behind the murder of AKA in February last year. The hitmen were reportedly hiding in the neighboring country and uh, uh and a process uh, is now underway to get them extradited to South Africa, says the report. So they're alleging that these guys were actually found um, as Swatini. I really honestly think that the reason why it's not even really making um, big waves in terms of like he should it should have been trending number one on Twitter. I, uh, I'm surprised, but I'm not shocked you know that is not uh, trending and the reason why that is because i think people are tired and people have lost hope when it comes to the justice system not even going to lie because i have many questions guys like okay um were these guys being like did they know who they where they just don't know where they were to get like did they know who it was but they did not know where that person was or those people were so now that they found them that's the reason why they're now coming back because first of all i know for a fact that they were not there's no way that they would have actually gotten them with the fire um that was used to take aka's life um aka's case was just too public and obviously that would just sorry, carry a bigger risk. Carry a much, much, much uh, bigger risk. So I don't think that they, they they can actually come to us and say that, no, we found these guys um, in possession of the firearm that took AKA's life. At most times, they do not even sell a pistol that was used to take someone of high profile. Usually what they do is that they're going to go ahead and actually like throw it away, like discard it. Like most of the times they drown it. They, you know, go to like the river or um, the ocean. They, they go deep deep in there and they throw it out because they do not want um, anything that can basically link them back uh, to that because obviously I don't believe that this was something that was a hush hush I feel like this was something that was planned way before even aka um, had to go to Durban I've seen a lot of people actually say that, oh, you know, it was because he was disrespectful or he did not listen um, and he went to Durban. I truly do believe that no matter where he could have been, they would have, you know, gotten to a point where they were going to just find him and take his life. I feel like the guy just had the red dot on him. And whether if he was in Durban or not, they were still going to do um, what they basically wanted to do. You understand what I'm saying? So obviously there are some people that are quite excited to say that, okay, at least now we may get to know who was actually behind the hit 
there's a lot of people that have got uh, their own suspicions and speculations which i'm not going to say much but at the same time i do not even want to lie i don't know what to make of this like um I, th but that's what i'm saying like our justice system guys has failed us so much what's happening with the uh, case of sense of as much as i've said that i really don't care about that case much but again i'm just like okay this was someone that was a high profile he was also taken senselessly and yet they have been uh playing chugombera for over how many years now you understand like then what faith do we really have as the community to actually say that okay they're gonna come they're gonna do the right thing and they're gonna actually give us the people or the person that actually pulled the trigger you know um so yeah for me i don't even want to lie guys like for me i just do not know when it comes to this whole situation but um yeah let them get back to the country and then let the uh, trail start so i think this coming weeks we might actually be very busy um obviously reporting um to know exactly what is uh, actually going to happen i think that also at this point there have been a lot of talks of the incompetence of the police uh, Julius Malema is one of them that actually spoke and questioning a big careless leadership and everything. I mean, the guy is very old, guys. The guy is too old. Like, in my personal opinion, the guy is too old. I don't understand why is it that the ALC is filled with Abo Gogo, Nabo. Like, it's just old people there. Like, all these are the ones that are um, holding these positions, you know. And yet, if you're a normal person, Jay, like, by the time you turn, like, what, 60? I think, or 65, I don't know, uh, you are forced to actually go to retirement because they know and understand that you cannot do your job proper whilst you're old. Your bones are now painful. You forget easily. Some of you are struggling with Alzheimer's and stuff like that. But look at ANC. They're filled with this people. And I think that's why, like, the country, honestly, is just running to the ground right now, you know. Um, but anyway, this whole situation, I mean, I do not know. At this point, I've not seen any statement that has been released, maybe by AKA's family. Um, you know, as I said, it's not even trending on Twitter. So I don't know. Maybe by tomorrow, that's when it's going to be trending. Or the day that the, 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 the people that are being alleged to be the perpetrators actually get back into the country. Maybe that is when um, they are going to actually go ahead and make sure that they um <clears throat> make sure that maybe then it trends or there's a, 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 a statement at least that would actually come out but if it is true that the the, the real people that did this have been caught which obviously hitmen are always hired by someone um i think it would actually be nice to quite know who was behind aka's uh passing or senseless passing obviously it has been over a year um since he was actually murdered was murdered this month last year so yeah it's quite sad you know it has been quite sad to actually see his mom um and even nadia you know grieve and of course his daughter you know his only child um it has honestly been a lot i mean even dj zinke you can see that everyone almost um you know quite struggled with what actually went on um and it's really honestly just such a sad situation honestly um you know he was young he was at the prime of his life i feel there was so much that we still um would have gotten from him um you know he left an album that was just about to get released so, <laughs> It was really honestly just wild, guys. It was really honestly just wild. But anyway, continue to rest in peace, aka. And please do go ahead and comment down below. Do you guys really believe that the real perpetrators have been arrested? Or do you think that maybe it's sort of like a cover up, you know, wherein they, they gotta look good? So somebody gotta go down. You know, and they, I mean, I don't know. Are they the Swadini residents? Are they South Africans? They were just hiding that side. There's a lot of information that is still missing. But I guess as it develops, we're going to get to know more. But this is something that we've been wanting for a very long time, obviously from the day that it happened. So... If it is true and it is them, it would really be some really, really great news. Anyway, Ninjas, I do also have to say that obviously I'm shooting in Mopandi Studios. You guys know it's my studio. And um, here, basically, uh, today I tried the our green screen um, because we've been setting up stuff. That's why today's video is even coming out late because I've been up and down. While now at the stage where we're starting to construct and build some different backgrounds. But there's also the green screen option and that's the reason why i actually have um this background that you guys are seeing here today so yeah man i mean there's a lot of that is actually happening i think 
with Mupandi Studios, for me, um, <clears throat> one thing that I'm going to be very big on is like individuality. Um, I, I don't want everyone to have the same background. And so that's the reason why I've been <laughs> living a bit in Struggleville because I'm planning a lot of stuff in my head, how the backgrounds can look, how the backgrounds can be different, how this can do this, how this can do that. And so, yeah, man, I really honestly am excited about it. So, yeah, soon you guys will get to see what I've been working on by i love you guys so much thank you for all the support thank you for all the love and i'll definitely see you guys my next upload bye ninjas